Five men who had gone to spy on the country around Laish said to their companions, Did you not know that here in one of these, ho uh, these houses there is a wooden idol covered with silver? There are also other idols in an ephod. What do you think we should do? So they went into Micah's house where the young Levite lived and asked the Levite how he was getting along. Meanwhile, the 600 Danite soldiers ready for battle were standing at the gate. The five spies went straight on into the house, took the wooden idol covered with silver. The city gate was found here in the big. That's the city gate entering the city. And uh, the other idols and the ephod, while the priest stayed at the gate with the 600 armed men. And when the men went into Micah's house, they took the sacred objects, and the priest asked them, What are you doing? They said, Keep quiet, don't say a word. Come with us and be our priest and advisor. Wouldn't you rather be a priest for a whole Israelite tribe than for the family of one man? This made the priest very happy. So he took the sacred objects and went along with them. They turned around and started off with their children, their livestock, their belongings going ahead, and they had traveled a good distance from the house when Micah called his neighbors out for battle. They caught up with the Danites and shouted at them, and the Danites turned around and said to Micah, What's the matter? Why all this mob? And Micah answered, What do you mean, what's the matter? You take my priests and the gods that I made and walk off? What have I got left? And the Danites told him, You better not say anything unless you want these men to get angry and attack you, you and your whole family would die. Then the Danites went on. Micah saw that they were too strong for him, so he turned and went back home. And after the Danites had taken the priest and the things that Micah had made, they went and attacked Laish, that town of peaceful, quiet people, which was in the same valley as Beth Rehob. And they killed the inhabitants and burned the town. There was no one to say. They wanted to know, how are you going to be compared to Solomon? He said, uh, my uh, father Solomon's, you know, his little finger it will be like my thigh. I'm going to be heavy-handed, in other words. And so that caused the disruption, just like God had said, that he was going to take away ten of the tribes and give them to Jeroboam. Now, Jeroboam uh, was promised a, a kingdom, an established kingdom, but if he would have trusted God, but his political advisor said, you know, if all of the people go down to Jerusalem... You have it, by the way, all this is covered very nicely by the DVD, and also in the book you have reference to that. You're not going to be able to get out, so I just want to get a few shots here. <laughs> You're shaking the camera. We were reading from Judges, and we are reading the about Jeroboam, that's second the king. First King, Chapter 12.